Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Hey, hello. How are you? Good, I hope. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'm just going to give you guys the video that has been requested multiple times. Um, I would say like highly anticipated video or like, you know, the most requested now. Some of y'all been asking for this though. Um, if you're not familiar with my situation, I am currently renting a room from a friend of mine um, while I'm in transition to finding a place to stay of my own that I'm comfortable with. Mm, okay, not wanting to feel rushed and forced into specific places just because my lease is ending or the rent is going up or all these other reasons, right? This is where I am currently and it's a transition phase for me. However, I've come from a 1,000 square foot condo to a room and it has been definitely a change for me. I like watching videos where people kind of show how they maximize their space, how they kind of decorate and how they make the best of what they have and this is exactly what this video is going to be because y'all requested it here it is for y'all i hope you enjoy before i get any further into this video i do want to say this video is sponsored by Macari. <laughs> yes and i want to thank Macari for sponsoring this video if you are already following me or if you're already familiar with my channel um i'm not new to Macari at all i have been selling buying on Macari for years now i also have my own series started here on my channel um to be completely honest the past few months i have taking a halt on recording and sharing videos on Macari because I am in a transition phase of my life and 90% of the things that I own are currently in storage, um, but I still have been buying on Macari. I still have been selling on Macari. Sorry, y'all are gonna see the sun going in and out because I'm working with natural sunlight today. Macari is definitely a platform that I genuinely love. I genuinely find the benefit from. And when they reached out to me, it just felt right for us to work together and bring in more information to the importance of being able to maximize the money that you're making, especially in this new era that we're in. If you're not familiar with Macari, Macari is a buying and selling platform that's available on your desktop, it's available on your tablets, it's available on your cell phones. Um, there's an app you can download and you can use it through the browser. It's available on Apple and Android. <laughs> Petty. It's also extremely user friendly. I personally can carry some slight hoarder traits sometimes. Um, so it helps me to declutter and get rid of things that are just literally sitting around my house. Literally just been taking up space. And since I've been using Macari, I look at the things that I own a lot differently. I said this in my very first video. You would be surprised how many items in your home could get you that item you've been saving on or that vacation that you've been wanting to go on. Right now, we are in a completely new era. With everything that's going on in this country, a lot of people are working from home. Um, a lot of people, unfortunately, don't even have the option to work from home. So for those who are losing their jobs, for those who aren't able to pick up as many hours as they'd like to, for those whose hours are being cut short and simply don't have the funds that they normally would have due to everything that is going on right now, Macari is a perfect time for you to maximize the benefit of being able to earn money with things that you might already have within your home. I'm thankful to be able to say that I'm able to temporarily work from home with the type of job that I have. It's considered an essential job, so we have to work during this time. So I'm currently working from home. <laughs> I'm good. I personally made over $2,300 um, just in selling things that I already have on Macari. Sometimes I'll take my balance and deposit into my bank account, but sometimes I would just let it sit there until I find a good deal on something that I could buy off of Macari, um, which saves me money too on things that I'm already going to buy, right? Macari is also a really good app to find little random things that you might want or that you might need um, that somebody out there in the world is just selling like you can find so many different things on this platform like i just bought a kansas city chiefs patch right <laughs> um it was delivered yesterday here's a perfect example of being able to make money off of the things that you already own that you of course are okay with letting go of here is my beautiful amethyst crystal right 
Now I'm not gonna be getting rid of my amethyst at all. However, <laughs> look around you at the things that you are using. Look around you at the things that you are not using. Look into your closets, your storage. There's very little limits to the things that you're able to post to Macari. For example, if I was going to sell this, what I would do is I would go on to Macari and look up like items, right? Just to kind of see the prices that they're going for, what they are actually selling for. Um, you know, for this, I would put, you know, amethyst cluster. And this kind of gives you an idea of what's being sold. Like if you can see, if I were to be tired of this and want to get rid of it, you know, there are many of these items being sold online. This is very similar to the one that I have. It's listed for $51 and it's already got 26 likes. So that means that people are definitely interested in watching this item. If I wanted to get rid of my beautiful amethyst, I'll look in the corner and say, hey, that's 50 bucks. That's a quick $50. So if I was going to sell this, it's very simple. At the very bottom of each page, you'll just tap sell. You have to put images of what you're selling. And you can put up to 12 photos. What are you selling? Literally can't spell. In your description, you definitely want to be as honest and descriptive as possible. Be as specific as you can because you don't want to falsify or post anything with incorrect information, right? Macari does charge a 10% fee. So let's say it's a $10 item, they get a dollar of that. $20 item, they get $2 of that. But for you to have a free platform to sell whatever you like, make money, um, and it comes directly to you, I think that that fee is definitely good. <laughs> Other platforms charge 20%. I took my nieces to Disney World and we did a whole like little unicorn theme type thing, but we only use these one time. Um, so they were taking up space. I sold a set of four of these for $40. Like sometimes my list of items that I sell are extremely random, um, but you really have to think outside of the box. But if you look around your house, almost anything that you see can be sold. So the purpose of kind of integrating that information with this video is just a reminder that now more than ever, a lot of people are dealing with and will be dealing with a lot of financial struggles, financial hardships, and Mercari is just a perfect way to make extra income, to help on that bill that you might not have the money for, to help relieve some of the financial stress that may be going on during this time. And it's something that you can do within the comfort of your own home. Even if you don't want to drive out to the post office, they have options for you to set it up for them to come and pick up the packages. So all you have to do is list it, pack it, and have them pick it up for you. It really don't get no easier than that. I'm telling y'all, and I've told y'all this before, there are so many ways for you to bring an extra income into your home, so think outside of the box. If you're at home like me and experiencing a complete lifestyle, home change, and you're interested in trying Macari out, I will leave their link in my description box below. Um, I'll also leave a link to where you're able to get $10 off of anything just to start and try it out. Um, if you're looking for something in particular, that's just a welcome gift from Akari. $10 off of anything that you purchase on the app. So now let's get into the room tour. So welcome to my room. So when you walk straight in to the back, I just have my most frequently grabbed bags, a backpack when I want to carry my laptop, um, <laughs> my waist belt from J Sculpt when I want to work out, and just my regular leather bag for when I want to look a little bit less casual. This is just my little hangy mabob to have extra storage that's just out of the way and right there before I leave. You'll notice a whole lot of these wall hangers, the ones that don't leave a mark. Again, this is not my home, so I don't wanna drill like too many holes in their walls or anything like that. So everything that I pretty much have set up in this room is, let's say, renter friendly. <laughs> 
Um, I love this sign. I got it from Dollar Tree, y'all. Set your soul free. I just think it's a beautiful reminder leaving and entering. Um, this is where I have my keys. I always lose my keys. So, y'all, this is a lifesaver. I got this mirror from Walmart a long time ago. And I originally had it in my bathroom where I used to live. But it's a really nice mirror for leaving out the door, checking myself out before I leave and when I enter. This is just my little calendar. I got a 90% off from Target at some point. Didn't even know I was really gonna need it, but it fits perfectly with the aesthetic. While I work today, I just had the ocean playing in the background. It looks terrible on camera, but it doesn't have those lines, you know, wasn't on camera. This room's not like fully organized or perfect. It's a realistic room tour, y'all. Sometimes I just have to throw something somewhere because I'm gonna be using it at some point. But this is just like my documents, um, container, some sanitizer, notebooks, candles, you know. You'll probably see a couple of rocks around. These are rocks that I got from Iceland on my trip and I just kind of keep them around and I keep them out because gives me good vibes. This is my workstation, y'all. This is where I work from home. Um, it's very, very new for me, very, very interesting, but I just created this small little area for me to dedicate just to when I clock in and clock out from work. I don't know if anybody remembers, but I had like a black Ikea cubed shelf here. And this is also where I had my TV, but I got rid of that, like completely got rid of it also decluttered some things um, and I grabbed my regular computer desk and my regular chair out of storage brought it here I was not gonna buy anything new <laughs> to make a little workspace so I'll work with what I had um, I did buy these two got them off of Amazon because this little jail here oh my god it's so good in my drawer right now I just have a a slight stock of the things that I'm currently needing. I'm um, washing my hands a million times a day. So hand cream, strawberry pound cake. That is my favorite scent right now. Um, we got some pocket bag hand sanitizers. We have some, you know, regular hand sanitizers, some Lysol sprays, um, and just some regular wipes. So yeah, just a little stock action, you know. My candle burning, of course, you already know, it don't matter. I wake up in the morning and I light a candle. I go to bed blowing out a candle. I have a candle burning pretty much all the time. <laughs> the candle I'm currently burning is Pineapple Mango by Bath & Body Works. A really good spring summer scent. Now to the left here, I just have my tall mirror. This is the mirror that I check myself in. This is the mirror that I dance in. This is the mirror that I love because we all need a full body mirror. I almost put this in storage, but I'm like, no, I have to bring this in where I'm gonna be staying because I can't imagine not having it in my living space regardless of how small it is. I normally have these lights off during the day, but I wanted to just turn them on just to kind of give you guys the effect when it turns nighttime. This just adds some nice extra light to the room and like a glow around the mirror. Nothing special about my bedding. I got this throw from Target a long time ago. Um, I also got this bedding from Target with the stripes. I got a lot of the pillows from Home Goods, a few from Target. This whole setup is really like old. Like I've had it for a very long time. Had it in my old apartment, but these are things that I wanted to make sure that I brought with me um, just so that I'm comfy and cozy when I'm in bed. Here I have my Ray Dunn bins, which just act as like storage. I pretty much have my candles in here. Um, oh, <laughs> I also have <laughs> a small stock of um, some um, Crown Royal Peach. I've heard that in some areas they always have it, but here in Florida, it's kind of hard to find and it's only released during certain seasons. Um, I'm not an everyday drinker at all. So this is probably going to last me a very long time. But when I do decide to have a drink, I want to have this on hand and I didn't want to risk not 
catching it when it was actually released. But like I said, this is all candles, y'all. These are candles. Nothing to be surprised about. And right now I just have this candle sitting here. How beautiful is this candle, y'all? This is from Aldi. Yes, Aldi. Lemon macaroon. Gorgeous 14.5 ounce candle. And it smells like Fruit Loops. Delicious. <laughs> Another thing that I added for some decor is this macrame kind of like plant holder, flower holder, um, just decor piece. You can see close, that's attached by one of those sticky things too. So real ghetto, real, real ghetto y'all. But you know, we make it work. <laughs> this picture here was drawn by my cousin, Sierra. Um, C. Marie Photography on Instagram. I was at Marshall's or some store at one point and I saw something like this. I saw this exact picture and I sent it to her um, and I was just like, I really love this and she drew it freehand and sent it to me. How sweet is that? I love it. The different shades, the different colors, the different styles of the woman and it's just a vibe. Over on this wall, I have my resistance bands for the legs and the arms. And I also have my yoga mat hanging by those same hangers. I get those from Dollar Tree. Um, and they're really, really easy to come off. I really have to stress it. If you guys wanna like maximize storage or have any like wall decor, it's a perfect way if you're renting or don't wanna like make any changes to your walls to hang things. So I have that for my workouts. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. This is just kind of like right to the left or I would say behind the door when you walk in this is where I put like my mail and stuff I cleaned it out um, but right now it pretty much just has my Bath and Body Works coupons <laughs> and this is my happy place speak it into existence oh that's Maggie for anybody who doesn't know and in my closet it is nothing special like I said this is a real life room tour so to the left is where I have all of my shoes. Well, let's not say all of my shoes because all of my shoes are actually in storage. Um, most of these are running shoes, running shoes, running shoes, running shoes, water shoes. Oh, these aren't running shoes. These are just black, black shoes. You know, just this. These are the shoes that I am designated to wear right now <laughs> until I a move or B, feel like climbing all the way to the very back of my storage to grab them. Um, you know, you gotta keep a couple pair of auntie heels out, okay? <laughs> For those special occasions and just your regular type flats, more running shoes and house shoes. And in the closet, again, I'm not gonna go too deep into this. I haven't even fully like organized. Down here, it's just kind of thrown into it, camera stuff. A bin of socks, toilet paper, wipes, my mini fridge, you know, basic condiments, pre-workout, my tumbler, and the cubes that were in the black storage bin here. I got rid of a lot of things and put them here. Yeah, things that I'm not using, regular things, foam roller, another storage bin. This is what I normally take on cruises with me, but it's just something to put in, like my first aid kit stuff, my contacts, wrinkle, release, all that good stuff. So yeah, closet's nothing special, okay? We might work on that a little bit more. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> good old bonnet, I mean, hello. On my window here, I just have my favorite crystals. Um, right at the window, right by the sunlight, you know, right beside me, just to welcome all of the good energies and all the good vibes. Well, yeah, this is me literally giving y'all what y'all want because I probably wouldn't have thought about recording anything like this. But this is how I am using my space, you know, working from home, living in one room, doing it all in one particular space. Um, you know, I like to focus on keeping things fresh, keeping things clean, keeping things light. Sometimes it feels a bit cluttery, to be honest, because I'm working with such a small space compared to what I'm used to, if I'm being completely honest. But um, I just focus on 
where things are placed and that kind of helps me to kind of feel a little bit more open in certain areas but yeah my camera is about to die y'all i wanted to make sure that i recorded this video with you um thank you again to makari for sponsoring this video if you are looking to make money from home especially given the times right now click the links below in the description box it's definitely something that i would recommend um until next time make sure y'all staying safe give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this comment down below what you thought um and all that good stuff all right, bye.